Hi students, welcome to the last part of the first unit. First one is the difference between mass and weight. So, mass is measure of the amount of matter in an object and weight is the gravitational pull that how much it is attracted towards the earth because of the mass. Second one is the mass of the body is constant everywhere that is it won't change with the place but the weight of the body changes with place like the weight of an apple in earth is not same as the weight of the same apple in moon because weight depends on the gravitation of the place. Third difference is the mass is measured using beam balance and the spring balance is used to measure the weight of the object. And the last difference is the SI unit. The unit of mass is kilogram kg and the SI unit of weight is Newton or kilogram force. To convert between each factor we have to consider the factor that is 1 kilogram force equal to 9.8 Newton. Now we are going to see about beam balance. We know that the beam balance is used to measure the mass. We all have seen this type of balance. Here we will measure the unknown object with the standard or known mass. That is in one side place the object that you want to measure. In the other side put some known weight that is 1 kg bar for example. If the unknown object has more mass it will go down. If it is less the standard 1 kilogram bar will go down. You have to adjust both sides to make it equal. It will become equal when the both the mass are equal. If it is equal it will be in the same level. This is a volt type and will give the approximate value. The next one which we are going to see will give the accurate value. And what it is? Yes, it is an electronic balance. We have seen this kind of weighing balance in every shop like vegetable shop, provisional shop etc. Because of its accuracy, it is used in the laboratories to weigh chemicals and also in jewelry shop. And the last topic is time. It is an important topic like time is everything. It is the most valuable thing now. We should not waste it rather than we should use it in a wise way. So the time are measured using clock. You can see the history of clocks which have been used since the old age like sand clock, sundial to, to the modern technology like digital clock. You can also calculate the approximate time by counting our pulse. We know our pulse it is 72 times in a minute. With the help of this we can also calculate the approximate time. And also by counting by saying one little second, two little second in a normal speaking speed. With the help of this you can roughly calculate your time. And that is all for the first unit. The second unit we will be seeing in the next video. Thank you.